can't believe I'm finally at this point where I'm able to um, get this out to you guys because I've been working on this for far too long. Backstory before we begin, I'll try to keep this brief. I moved into a rental house about two months ago that needed a lot of work. Um, if you wanted to know the details, I'll put that in a card up here. Uh, but one of the first things that I wanted to do was get the bathrooms in order because they were pretty gross. So we, in one of the bathrooms, we switched out um, and got a whole brand new shower, things like that. And But this bathroom didn't have anything other than the toilet that actually needed to be replaced. It just needed to be thoroughly cleaned and um, just like upgraded a little because the walls were very um, dated. I'll call it dated. They had very dated wallpaper and it just really, a wasn't my style and B just looked old and kind of gross, okay? So this being a rental house, of course, I'm not gonna like revamp the entire thing. You know, you have to be a little bit renter friendly, um, but I knew that I was gonna paint and I knew I was gonna use peel and stick wallpaper. So those are the two things that I, the two big things that I should, I should say I did. Um, so at whenever they painted the entire house, um they painted that bathroom as well instead of taking the, the wallpaper off they just painted over the wallpaper which um sure <laughs> not my house not my call so then we had a brand new slate which i'm gonna call our before we had all these white walls um and now it didn't look as dank and gross anymore but it was really boring um it, it got cleaned and then we were just you know we were able to use it after that um, we also, we got a new toilet. I'm not sure if I have a picture of the old toilet because we, that was the first thing that we did when we came to the house is switch out the toilets because they were that really old style, just straight round, very small toilet. And that was not gonna fly for us. We're not small people. We do not want small toilets, if you know what I mean. Okay, so day one of this bathroom makeover. Uh, today, I am going to uh, be sanding down the walls and then filling any additional holes in case there's anything I missed. I know I look beautiful, but uh, it's just the tax of getting what you want. I forgot to take the stuff off the wall. What's wrong with me? Mini tutorial time. If you've never filled a hole before, it's not that scary, I promise. To fill like a little hole like this or other little nail holes, tag holes, something like that, you can, you can just get your, this is what I prefer. You just need some spackle. I like this one because it goes on pink. When it dries, it dries white. Um, what you do is you get like a little bit on the edge of your little scraper. You're gonna need a scraper and this. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure you sand down the rough parts like I did earlier, you saw that. And then I literally just get a glob of it, push it into the hole and scrape it off, okay? Now for deeper holes, these are pretty deep. You're probably going to need to do it again later just because it's gonna dry a little, um, it's going to dry like down a little bit so you'll still have a slight divot. So if it's a really deep hole, you may have to go over it again. The next thing that I did was pick out a pink paint. Um, I used uh, a brand from Bear that I bought at Home Depot and I used the color premium pink, but um, you can use whatever you want. I actually wish that I had gone a little bit lighter on my pink. I hope that this pink doesn't end up being too dark because it looked very light in the store compared to the other pinks, but when I brought it home, it looked super dark. They were out of samples, and so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. 
and it looked a lot darker. So um, I recommend getting samples and actually painting the wall on the little area with them first. But in this case, I didn't do that. Um, I went ahead and painted about halfway up um, and I didn't even bother blending it or anything into the wall and I didn't even put tape there or anything because I plan to cover that with wallpaper. Now I'm gonna put up the shelves before I put up the peel and stick wallpaper because, I don't know, I just figured that's a better arrangement. Okay, <laughs> that was a struggle and a half. Sorry I didn't catch that on video, but I, um, uh, yeah. I was being really careful because I know like in bathrooms, you can often hit pipes in the wall or you know things like that <laughs> so i didn't want to like bust through a pipe so i was just very gently going through the drywall um until i um could stick it until i was through and then i could stick it in and see if there's anything in there um there was on this side i drilled it around here and there's a pipe like right there so um i had to stay here for a couple days it's actually been like two, a day or two since I did this. And um, so what I decided to do was move it over slightly. And if that didn't work, I'll just cut my losses and not put shelves here and I'll figure something else out. But the shelves work, so at least I have one shelf here. It's pretty sturdy. The wall's a little screwed up here, so it's the shelf almost looks like it's tilted, but I hung it correctly, okay? It's the wall, not the shelf. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna try to put another one up in the same, uh, in the same spot, and so that this time I'll actually have that on video. After I finished painting is when I went back with my uh, peel and stick wallpaper. The peel and stick wallpaper is really, really simple. It's kind of expensive because, okay, I don't know how expensive it is to actually wallpaper something, but I can't imagine that it's that much more expensive than actual, than using peel and stick wallpaper. The wall, peel and stick wallpaper I used, I think had like 15 feet on each roll or something like that and it was like $40 each roll. So I ended up having to buy three rolls, which for some reason I did not realize that I was gonna have to buy that much because I didn't measure. I was just like, oh, one roll is fine for a bathroom that's small like this. Absolutely not, absolutely not. Um, I didn't record the whole process of 
putting the peel and stick wallpaper up because I figured that would be really boring for you. But I'll just tell you, it was a pain in the butt to cut around all the way up the wall in this tiny little bathroom where you can't really get the ladder everywhere you want to go. And um, there were certain places that I straight up couldn't put a ladder. So I had to have my husband help me with a step stool. Um, and he could actually reach the places that I couldn't reach. I needed a ladder for, but I couldn't use a ladder like on the bathtub. Like he had to stand in the bathtub and do the part over the actual um, like spout in the shower. And we had to like cut a little piece of it and then like push it around. But you know what? In the end, it was a headache but we made it through. So thank you to my husband for being a trooper on a project that I really didn't think I was gonna need him for, but it turned out he did like 60% of the bathroom wallpaper. Well, that's not true, but he did the hard parts. So once all of those, those major pieces were done, next was the decorating. So the first thing that I did was put up all of my shelves. Royston, who's a lot taller than me, he put up the brand new shower uh, shower rod that I bought. Um, it's just a tension rod and it had really good reviews on Amazon, so I'll link that down below as well. After I placed my fixtures on the wall, I went ahead and put up the decor that I purchased. Um, I purchased a couple wall pieces that are, they're kind of just generic, um, but at this time I didn't really have time to create my own unique wall pieces. After I made my custom flower arrangement, it was time for the final touches. I put in some rugs and I put up everything else um, that I'm about to show you right here. as much fun watching this makeover as I did doing it. Um, it was definitely a great stress relief, except for the wallpaper. Um, if I do wallpaper in the future, it's gonna be on something that has, doesn't have so many crevices. But you know what? I don't regret it because I learned a lot and now I have a gorgeous bathroom that I can let all my guests use. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Um, word of mouth is really the only thing that can help grow my channel. Um, and please consider subscribing if you're new here. I am planning on making more makeovers in the in the future. I might do a couple vlogs, um, like DIY theme. Um, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. You are awesome. I will see you in the next video. Bye.